Um, first of all, I'm Commander Jeff Huff with the Ames Police Department, and I am in charge of the Criminal Investigations Division for Ames PD. I'm joined by Chief Sykosh and Story County Attorney Jessica Reynolds. Uh, thank you all for coming today. As you can imagine, we have been busy in the last 24 hours, and we would like to take this opportunity to bring everybody up to speed. First, our thoughts and prayers go out to the family and friends of Celia Barquin Arizamena. These are difficult times for them, and we ask that you're respectful of their loss as they process what's happened. The Ames Police Department received a call at approximately 10.24 a.m. from Coldwater Golf Course located at 1400 South Grand Avenue yesterday morning. The report was that golfers had located a golf bag with no golfer around it in the fairway on number nine. Officers responded to the golf course and began to search for the missing golfer. At approximately 11.03 a.m., Coldwater staff alerted officers to a body found in the water uh, next to the number nine tee box. Officers did locate a body in the water and she was subsequently identified as Celia. She had been stabbed in the upper torso, head, and neck. During a search of the wooded area next to the golf course, officers located a subject who spoke of another individual living in the wooded area who had made statements about having an urge to rape and kill women. Uh, sorry. We got a dog from the Boone County Sheriff's Department who also tracked a scent from the victim to the location in the wooded area. At approximately 2 p.m., officers were in the area of the camp when they encountered Colin Daniel Richardson with the date of birth of September 8, 1996. Richard, uh, Richards had several fresh scratches on his face consistent with a fight, and he was attempting to conceal a laceration on his left hand. He was taken to the police department for questioning. Richards said that at some point he went to another address and bathed. The people at that location described Richards as disheveled and covered in blood, sand, and water. He left this residence with his clothes and a black backpack. During a uh, search of the tent and surrounding area, a black backpack was located with two pairs of shorts with stains that tested positive for the presence of human blood. A knife was also recovered from that location. As you may know, we have charged Richards with murder in the first degree, a Class A felony. We must thank everyone who helped us so far, including the Iowa Department of Criminal Investigation, Iowa State University Police Department, Boone County Sheriff's Office, the Iowa State Patrol, the Star One Search and Rescue Team, and we would also like to thank the public who have already submitted some tips for follow-up and other leads, and the staff at Coldwater Golf Course uh, for all their help and taking care of our officers while they're working a very hot day yesterday. We are still looking for any information regarding this case. Our tip line at the City of Ames is 515-239-5533, or you can submit tips through Crime Stoppers of Central Iowa. Um, I'll take a few questions, but please understand this is still an active and ongoing investigation, and we don't want to jeopardize the case by releasing any information prematurely. Jeff, was there a relationship at all between uh, the victim and the suspect? Not that we found. Is there any evidence that he um, sexually assaulted or raped her, considering his urge to do so? So we will continue to follow up on that, but I don't have an answer for you yet. Okay. Do you know how he received the laceration on his hand? Uh, not at this time. Are there any other suspects that could be charged, considering the multiple witnesses that seem to So it's, it's still ongoing, so there is a possibility that we may develop other suspects, but right now, no. With uh, sexual assault this summer and attempted sexual assault and attempted grabbings, I, I don't think two years ago from now, do you think there's a growing issue of unsafety for people, maybe particularly women in this area? So these incidents are obviously rare still, um, but I think it is best to take precautions, um, travel in groups, um, and just be aware of your surroundings and re uh, report suspicious activity to your local police department. You said there are multiple other uh, witnesses that have come forward in uh, the last 24 hours. Uh, have any been from the apartment complex that's right next to the golf course, or who are these? Yeah, I can't answer that right now on specific witnesses. Sorry. How did he get on the golf course? And 
So we're still looking into that, but I don't have specific answers yet about how uh, he entered the golf course. Do we have any information on how long he was living at the golf course? Well, the wooded area the wooded next area. to the golf course, and no, I don't. Is he considered homeless? Um, well, he's, yes, he's living in a wooded area right now. And, um, and we have no other known address for him. She was golfing alone? Yes. The question was, was she golfing alone? The answer is yes. Was he known at all to um, Ames Police before this happened? We have had encounters with him in the past. I don't have any specifics on him, though, about criminal record or how many incidents we've had with him. And, and do you know his relationship to the person where he bathed at their house? I don't, no. Do you know at all if she was being followed? You said you don't know the relationship, but do you know if he was following her during her course? Um, we don't know how long he may have followed her. Did cold water staff report any problems with these folks and with him or others who may have been living in that area? Have they asked other golfers? Um, I actually don't have specific information about that right now. It's something I could follow up on, though. How are officers feeling right now after Having a whirlwind of a day like this, how are your officers doing? It's clearly a, a tough day for our officers. We're not a large department. Um, we had a lot of officers working very long hours. Um, obviously much worse for family and friends um, during a very uncertain period of time before we were able to charge this person. Um, the um, victim's family lives in Spain, which um, Logistically made it difficult to make notifications and get information to them, which we're still working on today. So tough day all around for everyone. Again, our hearts go out to the family and friends. Do you have any sort of timeline about how quickly he either saw her and then immediately killed her? Not at this time. That would be one of those things we wouldn't want to release quite yet. And I just want to confirm, um, you aren't able to confirm that his DNA was found on her body? No, DNA results take quite a bit of time. Um, what we can say is there was the presence of blood on clothing um, that belonged to him. And can you um, comment on all of the state of her body? Was she fully clothed when she was found? Like that? And that's something we wouldn't comment on right now. Yes. Um, yeah, a question from my colleagues. Uh, uh, what is it that your uh, department doesn't know that you want to know? Um, just anything. If anybody was out in the area around cold water at that time of day, around probably between 9.30 and 10.30, um, if you saw anything suspicious, people coming into or leaving the area, we'd certainly like to hear from you to uh, make sure we have that information and either rule it out or rule it in as important to the investigation. Thank you. Is her family on the way from Spain, do you know? Um, I don't know any details about travel plans for them right now. Do you believe the community needs or has any reason to be scared right now? It needs to be, you know, after something like this, because you said you don't know if there could be following arrests. Sure. I, I think um, the public always needs to be concerned and be aware of their surroundings, report suspicious activity when they see it, and, um, you know, just be careful. Will we face any other additional charges? Um, I can't answer that probably right now. Question for the county attorney. Good Will morning. Will he be facing any additional charges? Not at this time. He made an, he made an initial appearance this morning. That's correct. What can you update? Sure. At 9 a.m., Mr. Richards was seen by District Associate Judge Jim Malloy. I was present at the initial appearance. I requested a $5 million cash-only bond, which the court granted. The judge set a preliminary hearing for September 28th at 1 p.m. Unless there's any other questions, we'll wrap up. Sorry, From Charlie. ISU, uh, is their alert still in place? I know that, um, issued a that would be a question for them. Sorry, I can't answer okay. that. How rare of a case like this happens just in the middle of the day where I mean, anybody could, could have seen this? Just, just uh, it's rare, obviously. Um, still very troubling that something like this would happen in broad daylight in a community that is as safe as Ames is. Um, so it's troubling for all of us that this happened. How brutal was this? Um, you know, it, it's an awful thing that's happened. Um, 
I'm not sure what else I could say. The um, camp where he had been living in a tent, it sounds like in the woods next to the golf course, has that been cleared in any way? Or? It's been thoroughly searched. You'd ask for any private video, did any turn up yesterday? Um, I can't comment on any specifics of evidence we may have collected, but we still are looking for anything that somebody might have. We know there's a lot of private video out there, um, so if there's anything that the public might have that um, you know, may have caught something at that time of day, we'd love to look at it and make sure. Can you tell us about the suspect's demeanor, both when he was taken into custody and today? Um, I can't. Sorry. Do you know how long cold water will stay closed or is it opening soon? Um, we believe it will probably be closed through most of today. Um, our hope is to be able to turn it back over to them by the end of the day, but things could change um, just depending on what information we get and what things we find. Is it your officers and DCI still out there or is it just ASPD? Uh, both agencies, yes. How far away was her body located from um, I don't want to comment specifically, but it was some distance away from the golf bag. How weird is it that it happened out in the open like this? Yeah, again, really troubling that something like that would happen in broad daylight out in the middle of an area that's um, easily seen from a lot of locations. Um, it's in close proximity to the apartment buildings um, right there at the end of Grand, so it's extremely troubling. Your question's coming from my station. Um, yeah. Do you know where the uh, suspect went, uh, the address that he went uh, after the crime? After so we're not releasing that right now. Okay. Uh, is there any other incidents that the suspect has been involved in uh, where there was violence towards women? And I don't have any criminal history on him in front of me. And uh, yeah, was this a random act? Um, we can't really comment yet on motive. Okay. Thank you. Are the, sorry, are the friends who are driving him from the scene, are they facing any charges since they drove him from the scene? We can't, probably can't answer that quite yet. Um, we're still following up on some of those things. There's some screenshots of the Facebook page that people are associating with him, and the cover photo is disturbing and related to um, death and murder. Or do you have any reason to believe that that Facebook page belongs to him, or is having a connection between those? We'll definitely follow up on that, but I don't have an answer for you right now.